Welcome to my channel, where today we are going to explore the beautiful city of Lagos. Lagos, Algarve, Portugal, August 28, 2023. Marina de Lagos, located in the center of the city, has excellent access by land, air and sea. It is one of the most protected marinas, providing a safe, clean and pleasant environment. This marina is recognized for its architectural quality and exceptional landscape setting. The Lagos Lift Bridge is one of the pedestrian access points from the city center to the marina. Let's cross the lift bridge. Boat trips depart from the marina to visit the Benegal Cave, the Ponta Pedade Caves, dolphin watching and fishing trips. The bridge is raised to allow the boat to pass and I have to wait. The bridge has now lowered and I can return to the city leaving the marina behind. From the lift bridge it is easy to follow Avenida dos Descobrimentos. A seafront promenade lined with palm trees and with a traditional Portuguese sidewalk. To discover the old town of Lagos. The Boa Esperança, a replica of the caravels used in the discoveries. Let's now discover the charming streets of Lagos and observe an exceptional historical and cultural heritage. Lagos Municipal Market, built in 1924, known for its daily fish market. It is essential to arrive early, the market usually ends around noon. We leave the market and follow Porta de Portugal Street to the historic center of Lagos. Nice guy. This pedestrian area of the historic center, with the streets covered. With beautiful typical Portuguese pavement, is one of the most pleasant in the Algarve cities. Cool girl. The Jill Ean Square, very busy, with a sculpture of King Dom Sebastião who elevated Lagos to a city in 1573. The beautiful fountain of Oito Bicas, a representation of an old fountain from the 16th century. Luis de Camos Square, another very busy square, where the famous Green Tile Building is located, which appears in most videos and photos of Lagos. The side streets that lead to Jill Eanes and Luis de Camos squares are equally busy. And even in the less pristine and commercial streets there are secrets to discover. So don't be afraid to explore in any direction from these lively squares. Beautiful tiles. I really like walking the streets and alleys of Lagos. Let's leave the city walls to enter further ahead. An excellent park, very well located next to the city's centuries-old walls. 
where I head to enter through P. Adade Gate. In this park, right next to the city walls is the best mini golf I've ever seen in Portugal. It has a stunning setting and aesthetics. I highly recommend the visit. The Pia Dade Gate of the Centuries Old Walls Not to be confused with Ponta Pia Dade, which is a cape surrounded by several cliff-type rock formations and which we will discover later. Excellent street art on Lancarotti de Freitas Street, and white is no longer the only color on Algarve walls. friendly restaurant with a cozy outdoor space with a garden. Ideal for having a drink and relaxing. At this end of Lanzarote de Freitas Street we find this house with a fantastic painting. The beautiful church of Santo Antonio, built in 1707, was rebuilt after the 1755 earthquake destroyed most of the building. We can observe attractive architectural details, countless bars, restaurants and shops, and all of this surrounded by centuries-old walls and turrets. Another nice guy. I'm walking along 25 de Abril Street, a busy and very pleasant street. During the day, the city exudes a sense of calm and tranquility, with a slow, carefree pace of life. However, at night there is a lot of entertainment, from bars to clubs. A bar in an attractive building. I continue to cross the charming streets of Lagos, with an architecture that mixes history and modernity. There are many stores that offer good deals on various types of products. The Square of Infante Dom Henrique, the Navigator. It's time to delve into the important history of Lagos and there's no better place than this. Lagos played a huge role in the Portuguese Age of Discoveries and the period that followed. In this square is located the Slave Market Museum. In 1444, 
this place would become the first slave market in Europe. When a Portuguese expedition returned from West Africa with 235 slaves. Watching over the square is the impressive church of Santa Maria de Lagos. This beautiful church dates from around 1498. Behind the church are the walls of Castelo dos Governadores, Governor's Castle. Statue of Infante Dom Henrique, the Navigator. Just after Infante Dom Henrique Square we have the Constitution Garden. These ramps and two doors in the 16th century wall allowed circulation between the city and the old pier. Originally, the entire city was surrounded by these walls, which in some places are up to 7 meters thick. The coat of arms of Lagos. Jill Eanes, navigator who rounded Cape Bojador in the 15th century. I am leaving through the same door in the centuries-old wall that I used to enter. The São Gonçalo Gate where we can see the oratory built here. In the 1940s to perpetuate the memory of this saint who was born in Lagos in 1360. In the background you can see the beach with the funny name of Mere Prior, Half Beach. A continuous preservation effort has brought to this day a well-preserved and restored part of the centuries-old walls. In front of the centuries-old walls we have the mouth of the Benzafram River, which is the entrance to the marina. On the other bank we have Mere Prior, Half Beach, where we are going now. To cross to the other bank I used the Vivem ferry which costs 1 euro per person. An easy and quick way to get from the city centre to Mere Prior. If you prefer to walk, you can use the lift bridge next to the marina. On the way to Mir Prior. There is a wide bay that begins in Lagos, on the north bank, of the mouth of the Bensafim River and stretches for more than 8 kilometers. More or less in the middle of this bay is the mouth of the Alvor River, which cuts this immense sandy beach in two. Half of the Lagos side is called Mir Prior, Half Beach, and the other half is called Alvor Beach. The sea is usually calm and the water is clean and transparent. This extensive beach has extremely fine and soft white sand, and is a suitable destination for families with young children. Mm -hmm. 
After a refreshing swim, we return to the city center to explore the remaining beaches of Lagos, following the path described in the next presentation. We returned to the other bank of the Benzafram River, to the city, and we saw the Ponta Bandera Fort which is in front of the São Gonçalo Gate of the centuries-old walls. This fort was built in the 17th century, at the entrance to the Lagos Bar, to defend the city. Let's then explore other excellent beaches and stunning landscapes. We start at Batata Beach, which is just a few meters from the historic center of Lagos, right next to the Ponta Bandera Fort. This beach is the perfect destination for city dwellers who leave work at the end of the day and are looking forward to a quick swim in the Atlantic Ocean. The rock formations that decorate Batata Beach allow access to caves and Estudantes Beach. It is this small carved tunnel that connects the two beaches, Batata Beach to Estudantes Beach. Estudantes Beach is a relatively small beach divided into two parts by long cliffs. This first part of the beach is the widest. Crossing another carved tunnel we have access to the second part of the beach. Here we have a perfect combination between a translucent blue sea, yellow and orange cliffs and the beautiful bridge of the Pinhao Fort. Beautiful combination of ancient engineering and natural beauty. This bridge served as access to a small fort on the cliff that collapsed a long time ago. I would live in Lagos, I love it. We return to Batata Beach to use an existing pedestrian trail, at a higher level to go to Pinhao Beach. The relaxed spirit of the Algarve, sun, sea and joy. One of the fantastic features of Lagos is the easy access to a wide variety of beautiful beaches close to the city center. Trying to decide the best beach to visit. Keep watching the video. Return to Batata Beach to walk from the Ponta Bandera Fort, city center, to Pinhao Beach. <music> On the
On the left we have the city and on the right a panoramic view of Batata Beach. A panoramic view of Estudantes Beach. We followed Avenida dos Descobramentos to Pinhal Beach, which is about 700 meters from the Ponta Bandera Fort, city center. We leave the avenue and are following a pedestrian trail to observe stunning landscapes. We are looking at Pinhao Beach, a small beach, that is hidden by the rock formations that surround it. There are no infrastructures here, remaining virgin and untouched by human hands, which makes us feel completely immersed in nature. Walking another 300 meters along the pedestrian trail we arrive at the most popular and busiest of Lagos beaches, Dona Ana Beach. The beautiful rock formations of Dona Ana Beach form an incredibly privileged setting. There are no words to describe the colossal beauty of the landscape. Let's walk along the beach. Despite being a very busy beach, it is a calm and relaxing beach, suitable for families. The sand is soft and inviting. With cliffs extending into the water at each end forming a protective bay. The sea is calm and great for swimming and snorkeling. In every corner of this beach we always have great natural beauty. We continue along the pedestrian trail towards Camilo Beach, which is about 500 meters away. The pedestrian trail, starting at Dona Ana Beach, becomes wooden. This route is fantastic. We have the privilege of observing stunning landscapes. A secret hidden between cliffs. Camilo Beach, an amazing beach. These stairs lead to paradise. When we first see the beauty of its rock formations, the turquoise blue of the sea, and the whiteness of its sand, we are assaulted by an explosion of colors. Camilo Beach is one of the most stunning beaches in all of Europe. This carved tunnel gives access to a more secluded part of the beach. More 
isolated but very popular. We returned to the pedestrian trail and headed to Ponta Piedade, which is about one kilometer away. This walk along the coastal footpath that goes from the Ponta Bandera Fort, city center, to Ponta Piedade is fascinating. The degree of difficulty is low. It is about 2.5 kilometers and we have simply stunning beaches and landscapes. Let's go down the 180-step staircase. Ponta Piedade is a beautiful promontory, with an incredible variety of rock formations and caves sculpted by nature. The more adventurous can explore this coast by kayak or boat. One of the natural wonders of the Algarve that you cannot miss. Lagos, more than a destination, an unforgettable experience. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the wonders of Lagos. The Ponta Piedade Lighthouse, which dates back to 1913 and is still in operation. If you like the video, put a like and subscribe, it's very important to help the channel grow. Thanks for watching.